Hi everybody. Okay, so we are going to be doing actually like the first spread that I'm going to be sharing with you and honestly like the first spread in this planner because I have just been like totally in EC world, but I've really been missing my happy planners as well. So I wanted to dive in here and get some creative journaling going because I definitely have been missing my journaling time as well. So I wanted to set up a spread. This is going to be a before the pen only. You guys know that typically I do like to put some pen on my spread, but because this is journaling essentially, not essentially, it is journaling, I wanted to do that. I mean, of course, I'm going to need to do that separately. So we're just going to go ahead and set this up, you know, as a before the pen. And then if you want to see like how this goes after the pen, that kind of thing, feel free to check it out over on Instagram. And yes, these are blank pages. I do have every intention to like go back and go ahead and do some back planning because I do, you know, I like a full, I like a full planner and I do want to get back to my journaling. So going back and like writing things that happened, I think it's going to be great. So how is everybody? This sticker book that I'm using also is called Softly Modern. It just seemed kind of nice for, you know, some journaling things like these prompts are really cool. I think I'm actually going to take this nice long sticker and use this over here. So instead of tasks, because this isn't going to be like a tasks space, we are going to add in some more journaling. And basically like I'm going to make this dashboard into what I want it to be as a journal, but maybe before we do that, what if, okay, we're going to hold this over here. What if we put some full boxes and then it can kind of go like that long sticker can kind of go over the top of the full boxes. We shall see what we have available to work with. If there's any like just, that might work any just kind of like pattern boxes. We shall see. Sometimes it's kind of fun to do just like before the pen spreads because then you have like a little bit more creativity. So I'm not necessarily like working around my plans. Like sometimes that can be a little bit restricting, you know, I put the creative things. So sometimes it's just nice to, it's just nice to have just some time to be creative in my planner. I think that is kind of awesome. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is we're going to do this one and then maybe this one. So we are going to kind of take this. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there is a fly buzzing around and it is driving me bonkers. I don't know how it got down here. I apologize if you like see it on camera, but or hear it. I don't know what this camera can pick up. I mean, it's pretty good. <sighs> but if it's driving you crazy, like it's driving me crazy, I do apologize. Okay, and then we're gonna put this one, I'm thinking kind of like over here. I wish it would, maybe, what if we do this on like a tilt? Will that look cute? I think it might. I think that's kind of cute. And then, so, so far we have like a lot of the blues and yellows in here. It's kind of cute. It's kind of adorable. Okay, so then this, oops. I always screw up these long stickers. Oh, they are the pain of my existence. I'm hoping against hope that this doesn't rip this paper. This paper can be a little finicky. Oh, cause I really want to use this sticker. I'm like already thinking in my head like of the things that I can write about. Okay, that should be better. Now hopefully it stays. Okay, so that is about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> okay, and then what else? So I don't necessarily want any of the foiled things. I think maybe we do some of that like thin washi over the top of that important space. Like maybe this, I think. So we'll kind of cover this up and customize this space. 
super cute. And this is probably how I would decorate this similarly if I was using this as like my planner planner, like for all of my plans. But it's a little different just because it is a journal. Let's see, aim for perfectly imperfect. Love that. Okay. So then, hmm, I think I'm going to do this like kind of off center if I can. Getting these together is going to be a little bit of a challenge. I probably should be using my tweezers, but oh my gosh, I had a really fun time with some friends today. We had a planner meetup, but I realized like as soon as I got there that I forgot my whole little bag. Like this little bag that you guys have probably seen on camera before that has like all of my little planner tools in it. I forgot all of them. Like I just left it on my desk. I brought everything else, but I just, I just left that right on my desk. <laughs> and so I was like struggling to get all of my stickers down because there are some small ones. And oh my gosh, it was driving me bonkers that I <laughs> could not get it down. And yeah, so I, I made it work. I ended up being fine, but it was driving me crazy. Okay, I like this right here. The cool thing about journaling also is like, it gives you a little bit more, you know, freedom with creativity. So yeah, I think I'm going to use this space down here. We're going to use the sticker as kind of like a prompt. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we'll make this like our grateful for space. Maybe I'll put like a word in here could be kind of fun. Okay, this book is really perfect for journaling. Pretty excited. Okay, and I'm gonna use this other sticker down here on Sunday. Hopefully I don't have a ton to write on Sunday. Okay, these dashboard boxes though are really nice for journaling, the classic size. I feel like the small, like the mini planner is almost too small for journaling. And then like the mini dashboard is definitely too small for me anyway. But the classic dashboard, like the space that it has is just about perfect. I actually really like it for journaling. And I am excited. I, again, I need a place to just like let my thoughts out. I have so much going on in my life. Like I feel like work is super crazy, busy, even a little bit stressful. And it's weird because like my job since I've been there has not really been a stressful place. Like it's been pretty chill, but like we just have, like, I think it's cause we're getting towards the end of the year and we have this like second product that we're working on and we just want to make sure that it is a success and that we all meet all of our goals with it. So I'm feeling the stress of it all. So that is stressful. And then both of my kids are in like different phases right now. And so like balancing those things is kind of stressful. And then finding time for like my relationship with my partner. It is all just like, life is just being life. It's just how it goes on. Monday. Do I do the hello today? Maybe. Rest day. Hello. Breathe. <laughs> Take a nap. I love that. Oh, there goes our little fly friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is crazy. Okay. What else do we have? Plan on it. Happy. These are kind of cute. Don't necessarily need those, but maybe we'll do... I like the goals. Maybe Monday we'll do a today I'm feeling sticker. We'll kind of use that as a prompt. Cute. Okay, we'll put that one there. And that will work. I am really liking all of these. I wish they weren't quite so long though. These are cute. Peace and gratitude. We'll put well, I wanted to put one at the top, so we'll see what else we have. I feel like I flipped through these sticker books like a million times. <sighs> Embrace your wild. I love this. Oh my gosh. A fly. Go away. Embrace your wild indeed. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna put this one over here. So lots of room for decoration. This is really fun. Do we put it over here or down here? I mean, those are kind of similar. Or do we do peace and gratitude on the bottom there? And kind of scrap this wild one. I think I might do that. Because that's kind of similar to be that close. And I'm not sure I'll need that much room for writing my gratitude stuff. Okay, so we'll put this one back. Oh my gosh, my camera says it's gonna overheat and this is like the coolest room in the house. <laughs> or we can get it together. I am quite happy though that we are going to get a bit of a cool down this next week. So yeah, I am ready for it. Okay, we're gonna put love this right here and we're gonna use that as a bit of a prompt. That will be fun. Okay errands, appointments, cancel this. I just would like to take the opportunity to cancel everything. <laughs> cancel it all. Just cancel it. Let me have a break every day. Oh, I wish. I wish. Okay, maybe we'll do, since it'll be kind of the end of the week, we'll do a reflect box or a reflect thing here. That could be cute. And then I'm not gonna put busy day on anything because I'm not going to, I'm not gonna like jinx myself like that. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to put some of these florals kind of like around and kind of fill in. There were some like larger quotes that I wanted to use, but they're all kind of like, I don't know, they have a bunch of foil on them and I don't know how much foil I really want to use anymore. Like I remember when we were all using foil in our planners and that was like the thing, like it was the thing to be doing. But I think that season for me at least has kind of passed. Let me know if you're like into foil in your planners and why you like it maybe. No, don't need to like defend anything, but I'm just, I'm super curious because I just, I don't know, I'm not in a minimalist phase by any stretch of the imagination but I do feel like I'm kind of like finding what works for me and just kind of going with it, not trying to fight it as much anymore. And like, I think the other thing is just like being open to trying new things. I feel like I was so like stuck for lack of a better word for so long. And I just was so unwilling to try new things, especially in like my planner life. Like I was just like, nope, this is what I want to be using. This is like the planner girl that I am, the planner person. This is what I like, you know, I'm not gonna use anything else. And now like, I'm totally open to changing things and trying new things. And yeah, I think that, I think that we all have to be like open to the new possibilities. I think it's, it's good. It is a good thing in the wise words of Martha Stewart. Oh my gosh, I remember my mom used to have that show on all the time. She used to love, I mean, what's not to love, obviously, because Martha Stewart is amazing. But my mom used to have that on all the time. And that would be like, that was like a staple of my childhood. That and I think probably like Sally Jeffy, Jesse Raphael and maybe like other daytime television. It kind of transformed into like the Rosie O'Donnell show. And then sometimes like I would sneak and put Maury on. She wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I liked, I liked trashy TV from the beginning. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm like totally a reality TV junkie. Although I feel like, oh my gosh, I actually feel sad that I don't watch as much reality TV anymore because I just spend so much of my leisure time scrolling TikTok. And I need to not do that. I need to be, I don't know. I feel like I need to either read a book or like watch a show. Like that is where I need to kind of transform things. I think, well, maybe we'll put like a couple more at the bottom here. Or maybe I'll like cut this one in half. We're gonna break out these big scissors cause they're just kind of sitting here. And I don't necessarily wanna open my little bag. 
but maybe we'll just do like half of one here. You guys cannot even see that. What is going on? Okay, super cute. And then maybe the other half, do we just put it here? No, I don't think so. Here, maybe here, I think that will be good. That is pretty, but now, now I'm like, do I wanna cut more stickers? Can I add anything else? But I think if I add anything else, I'm not gonna have enough room to write. So I think I'm gonna leave this as is. So this is going to be my spread for my journal. Let me know what you guys think and remind me in the comments, please, to put away my sticker book because I am the worst at that. I never put my sticker books away after I'm done planning, especially my happy planner sticker books. Actually, okay, I wanna try one more thing. Okay, before we put this book away, I wanna try one last thing if we can do it with a full box. I kind of wanna put one of these, this bloom one. I know I said I didn't love foil, but this one, I just can't stop thinking about it. Okay, mm, okay, so maybe told you my camera said she was overheating and I didn't listen to her and she turned off, she just did. But now the overheating thing isn't there anymore. Don't get it. Okay, we're just gonna cut this just a little because I don't quite, oh. I cut it uneven, of course I did. I kind of just want the bloom, honestly. Oh, that's better. It's still a little uneven, but you know, it will work. I just don't want it to take over that other flower up there, but I kind of wanted to use it. Okay, that's perfect. I love that, okay. And yes, yes please. Okay, so that is going to be the spread. Let's see it all together. And I will try my best to take a picture of this after I write in it. And I'm hoping to do some monthly flip throughs at the end of July. So stay tuned for that. So you will get to see all of the back planning that I did in here and my journaling and that kind of thing. I'm kind of at a loss for how to use them monthly. I'm actually considering like taping this together. But if any of you have like a creative journal, what do you use your monthly for or how do you use that? I also wanna make some like more journaly categories for this dashboard space. So yeah, give me all of your ideas because I am relatively new to creative journaling, but yeah. So thanks so much for being here, you guys. You are wonderful. And I'm so excited to be working in my happy planner once again. And so excited to have everything that I love in my lineup and all of that good stuff. So thanks so much for being here. If you're new here, hi, my name is Caitlin. I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button right down below and follow along. And if you are one of my current friends, followers, that kind of thing, please um, know that I absolutely adore you. And here's your internet hug for the day. And if you would like to find me anywhere else, you can find me on Instagram at creating and chaos underscore official and a few other places that I will have linked down in the description box below. And if you are looking to shop the Happy Planner, I am a Happy Planner affiliate. So if you're online shopping, please use my affiliate link when you do that. That would help me out so, so much. And I also have a few other coupon codes and affiliate links for other planner shops, as well as non-planner related things down in the description box below. And with that, you guys, by the way, have fun today.